Election day is next Tuesday and one congressional race is heating up. I'm talking about the race between Democratic State Senator Don Davis and Republican businesswoman Sandy Smith. They're trying to replace retiring Congressman G.K. Butterfield in District 1. And WREL state government reporter Brian Anderson sat down with those two candidates. He joins us here in the studio. Brian, how competitive is this race? Well, Smith and Davis are running in a Democratic-leaning district that stretches from Wilson to Elizabeth City. Now, Davis is expected to win, but there's some indications victory isn't as easy as Democrats had expected. But national Democratic groups like the House Majority PAC have decided to pour in hundreds of thousands of dollars into this race in the closing weeks. And that's helping Davis. And you know, Brian, voters have a lot of things right now what they're thinking about when they go to the polls. But what issues are both candidates highlighting in the race? Well, Smith blames Democrats for higher costs voters have seen just about everywhere over the past year. She's campaigning on a message of bringing change to Washington, D.C., where Democrats have controlled Congress and the White House since 2021. She's also appealing to hardline conservatives by embracing former President Donald Trump. Davis, he's running in a more moderate lane and talking about working across the aisle. He says he's the candidate who's likely to rein in government spending. He also says he'll ensure infrastructure dollars already approved actually get to the district. You know, Brian, we know that each candidate is talking about why they should be the candidate, but they're also talking why the others shouldn't. So how are they responding about criticism from each other? Well, Davis has come under fire for his past votes in the legislature, limiting access to abortion. Now, he's a Presbyterian minister with strong views, but he says he's heard loud and clear from voters and would work to restore federal abortion protections. Now, the biggest line of attack against Smith has come in her personal life. Years ago, she was accused of domestic abuse by two of her ex-husbands and her then teenage daughter. Now, Smith denies these allegations and says she was the victim of domestic abuse, not the perpetrator. And it's just another race that we are going to be following very close. Thank you, Brian.